This here is a yard woman. And I've got something to say. First of all, I'd like to talk to Tube Granny. I'm sorry that you've got problems again. Sometimes we get pestilence sent upon us and we don't know why. But I suspect that this present pestilence is because of all those drugs they had you on in that nervous hospital. And what you do is clean those parts with vinegar. Good old cider vinegar. And that will keep you from having them fruit flies. It's a lot better than other insects that you could have. Next thing I want to talk about is I want to tell a story. And it has to do with what's going on with other people's videos appearing on other places because I have to tell you, Ms. Lollipop, she is having a chicken fit. She was running around looking like a chicken without a head this morning. I tried to explain it to her, but so, you know how it is with some people. They get ideas in their head. She's got a mic few too many if you ask me. Anyways, it's like this. Coyote, one day he watched down and he saw the dog people. Those dog people had laid them in a bunch of fish. And they had them up on drying racks and they had little low burning hickory smoke fires going. And they were laughing and cutting up and cutting up fish and fishing and cutting up and laughing. And they were drying their fish and they were just talking about what fun they were going to have. This winter when they didn't have to do no fishing or hunting or nothing, they could just sit there and eat fish. And they thought how much fun it was going to be. They'd have enough to share with other people. And so they just loved fishing. And they were just cutting up and having fun fishing. And Coyote knew sooner or later they'd have to get tired. And he'd just lay up there on that rock and wait for that opportunity. And sure enough, nightfall came. And they let their guard down. The coyote, he went down there, and he ate all that fish. Next morning, them dog people, they were wild. And they thought one of the other of them had sold out, that had they ate all them fish. And if they just kept smelling around, sooner or later, they'd figure out who ate all the fish. And that's why dog people keep so busy smelling each other's butt to this day. Now, the way I figure it is this. YouTubers can start smelling each other's butts from here to kingdom come, trying to figure out who's done this and who's done that and how our videos wound up on other sites. Or we can do what's important, and that's entertain each other. It don't matter if we're here or to other place, because I'm going to be here and to other place. And it looks like I'm going to be to other place. Because I ain't even had any videos till now. And yet my name was over there already. Something mighty suspicious. Something mighty suspicious. It's a false spring. I know you can hear the blackbirds in the distance. they my friends. they be your friends too. they tell you the truth. We got Doc coming up. We got daffodils blooming. It ain't natural. I want to say a shout out to a special friend of mine. His name is Max. He's low sick. He's my boy Angie's and his wife's Ellie, their boy. He's my grandbaby. You get well, Max. Send you my love. Bye now.